It has been said that in ancient times, a genuine seeker and pilgrim by the name of Pausanias had a chance to ask a question of the Pythia at Delphi. She being the keeper of the oracle there and the greatest of prophetesses was the ideal person to find the truth on any divine matter. As he stood before her, he asked his question thus. O great priestess, I long for contact with the higher beings, but I fear them just as much. And coming here to Delphi in order to seek oneness with them through their different sanctuaries, I find myself holding back for concern as to what may happen to me. I have read so many accounts of those who upon viewing the image of Isis have died in an instant because of her strength. And it's well known that those that view the light of Apollo often are driven irreparably mad because they are unable to cope with it. So I come to you now to ask you, which are the ways of approaching the gods which are completely safe? Ineffective ones. There came the answer back from the prophetess. In that moment, Pausanias realised the truth behind her words. Even with the most skilful and genuine approaches, these beings were of such strength that there would be inherent risks for mortals. O oh, great priestess, I have another question for you. There are so many who claim uh, to have uh, contact with these divine beings, either uh, during their waking life or during their sleep. How does one know when they have genuinely met with a god rather than dreamed of it through wishful thinking and through their own hopeful imagination. True contact with divinity brings with it godlike powers. The answer struck Pausanias to his very core. He had heard tales that sometimes those who felt filled with inspiration from meeting Apollo were able to uproot trees with superhuman strength and demonstrate invulnerability to those around them. But until this moment, he never realised how this kind of godlike ability was the only evidence of genuine meeting with a god.